Hello YouTube. Last video I left you here with a beautiful white skiff. And unfortunately, this video will end here with a skiff that kind of still looks white, but you can see through. We're going to get through a little bit of this video, but the fairing and prep process for paint is painstakingly dull. Lots and lots of sanding, prep work, paint, sanding, prep work, paint, repetitive, repetitive. I chose to paint the skiff ice blue so that it would match the CV we have out back. So I headed down to Fort Lauderdale and met with the rep for Alex Seal and picked up all of the paint needed. But before we could get to painting, I had to go ahead and put guide coat all over the freshly painted skiff, sand it back down to find any lows, and fix any voids throughout the skiff. Again, more fairing compound, more sanding. So much sanding that I actually burned up two of these rigid palm sanders. Smoky. Well, after three coats of Alex Seal High Build Primer, uh, I went ahead and sanded the whole boat again. And as you can see, there's just a couple spots, a couple lows here and there. I mean, that one I can actually feel. Like these guys, you, can hard, you can't even notice. This is just like super minor which I think another coat of the high build would actually fill. But you'll see that there's little little gouges that just need a tiny bit more, um, a tiny bit more fairing compound. And then the sides up front here, I mean, I could see those before I even sanded. I knew I was gonna have to fill in these even more. You can see here where I've sanded back down to the, the uh, original fairing compound. So I've got a little bit more fairing and sanding to do. But uh, overall, I mean, the top looks pretty good. So we're gonna fill. I know it's repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Fill and sand, fill and sand. Um, nobody's gonna see the bottom of the boat. I still have to finish sanding on this side, but got the 90% of the boat sanded. Fill, one more coat of high build. Gonna lightly sand that with 220, and then we're going to finish. So, uh, Gotta get this all looking right. I've drawn a center line for the running strakes. It's supposed to be about three inches, three inches off the back and uh, 15 inches off the keel. That one I'm gonna really have to strap down when I glue them. But basically I'm gonna trace out my path and then I'm gonna actually have to grind out back down the, to fiberglass so that I can get a good chemical uh, bond with the thickened epoxy. And these things are really set and then I can fare these in. So I wanted to get the whole boat sanded prior to, but now I was thinking about it. I mean, if I'm gonna end up like right here, I don't need to, I don't really need to do any more touch up work right there because I'm well, I'm gonna be grinding it out anyways. So we're gonna grind it out, get these attached, fill and fare. And then uh, everything will look good and that'll help the boat track straight. Should look pretty sweet. All right, haven't been really filming much because obviously this is getting pretty repetitive. Um, this is round two of filling tiny little um, imperfections after sanding the high build. So obviously I've got quite a bit of work to do as far as get these streaks. They're not gonna be perfect, but I'm gonna fill them so that they're smooth. But this right here, you can see the black. That was after sanding. And then even today, some of these darker spots here, these are sand, this is perfectly smooth. Really happy with that, but I had a couple more spots that I was you know, going over with my hand and I could feel the tiny, tiny little indentions. Now, I could probably put on two more coats of the super high build primer and be good, but I'd like to do just one coat. So I went ahead and skimmed again, just a couple, well really it's like 30 tiny little spots. I mean, that right there is super, super thin. Um, I had some spots where they were like pinholes that I've, I've gone ahead and again, super thin. You can see right there the scratches. So, I'm gonna sand it again tomorrow with 220. Finish. See, I 
got a little bit of work to do right there. But finish these guys. And then uh, this weekend, we're gonna high build again. Another light sanding with 220, and then it's time to start finish. I gotta get this garage all cleaned up. Gotta mop the floor again, blow everything out, wipe down the doors, and then it'll be time to start painting. Well, paint went pretty good this weekend. Um, you can still see, that's just one coat of high build, so you can still see a little through there, which I'm not concerned with because it's super smooth. Uh, this week, I've got some very tiny, you can kind of see right there, I gotta fill that. Um, there's one right there. And as I was walking, there's one tiny chip right there. I mean, we're getting down to the nitty gritty, super small stuff. So the strakes needed a couple more fills. So I'm gonna do those. I mean, I'm not talking like putting some compound on the end of my finger and filling. And damn, these bugs love to get on the boat. Um, I'm gonna fill those with my finger, just the real tiny stuff that'll be noticeable. And then, uh, 220 sand the whole boat again. And we're gonna start primer. Alex Seal, I think it's their 442 finish primer. Two coats of that, sand with 320, and then it'll be on to the ice blue. So, uh, I mean, it's it's nice. There's a, there's a little bit of orange peel. You can kind of see in the glare, but that's to be expected without sanded. So, gonna get this thing all primed up and super ice smooth before we put on that ice blue. Well, we're getting ready. First coat of primer is going on. Uh, the boat has been wiped down with denatured alcohol and then tack ragged twice. And you would not believe the second time, well, really two and a half times, but the second time there was still traces of dust. Obviously I got the garage door open. I'm not painting in the most perfect environment. I mean, there's dust all over everything, but I blew it out as best I could. Um, we've got 16 ounces, eight ounces of finished primer eight ounces of finished primer converter. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put in like, I'm gonna start with 20%, which is like 3.3 ounces or something of the reducer brush. Um, this has to sit for 15 minutes. I got a timer going, 15 minutes for it to kick off. Mix in the reducer, stir that all together, and then I can go right into my paint tray and start. Um, I'm hoping that call it 19 ounces of liquid primer is enough. Supposedly this stuff goes really, really far and, and uh, it's it's gonna appear to be really thin. But uh, yeah, 15 minutes, I gotta, I gotta tape my foam roll brush a couple times to get that all the fuzz off. And then we're gonna start priming. Coat one today, coat one tomorrow morning. We'll see how much I have left after I lay an even coat uh, whether I'm going to mix up more or less tomorrow morning. All right, so that took me about an hour and 15 minutes or so to put on. Um, first observations, it's, and I mean, I'm mixing it 20, 18 and a half percent reduction is what I put into one part primer, one part converter. And I did 18 and a half percent on the brushing reducer or roller reducer. This stuff goes on extremely light. I can see where it goes on. So I can tell, I mean, you can kind of, you can see it's all, I mean, it's all wet, but it just, it's so, so light. So I'm gonna do another coat tomorrow morning. Hopefully it hides more of the green. You know, I get a little bit better coverage. But um, I think I was getting worried with how much paint, I swear a bug is gonna land on this and piss me off. But it is amazing how, like I just did a, a little bit more there, but I'm trying to find a good lighting where it, you can see the air bubbles and they're literally popping. And I read that with this reducer, it'll just continue to lay down and flatten out as it hardens up. Um, so I'm gonna let it sit out here for about an hour before I push it back in for the night. Uh, but I mean, you can still see a ton of, 
ton of the spots. That's how thin the stuff goes on. But you know, we're gonna go with two coats. And if I don't like it, then I can still see all this. I might put a third coat on and then we'll sand with 320. Um, you know, and go ahead and get everything working. But I mean, it's it's all, I'm not really, I don't really don't like my, the strakes. They're just, they're not, well, I mean, maybe they'll look good when they're fully painted, but so far the stuff just lays out. I mean, it's super, uh, toxic fumes in here i highly recommend wearing a mask i will be doing that tomorrow but uh overall i think it it just rolls out really really thin so i don't know we'll see how coat two goes on tomorrow we'll see how this dries uh it's definitely you know it's hiding some of the green but you can still see it and that's with the high build primer underneath there as well so there's going to be enough primer on this boat i'm not concerned with that but i'm my only thing is, is i'm going to wonder when i lay down the ice blue how many coats is it gonna to take to hide? Because, I mean, I'm seeing some of the guys are doing th two coats, 400 grit sand, then a final coat and polish. I may have to go four coats of sand and then a fifth coat. I don't know, we'll see. Um, we're gonna put aqua traction or sea deck down on the inside, so I may not need that much aqua blue on the inside, but we'll see. All right, so the boat has been primed, two coats of primer and guide coat applied and then sanded all the way with 320 clearly you can see there's a little burn through here and there but I mean this is this is slick um, I got to blow out the garage again get this thing wiped down with uh, denatured alcohol and then uh, use some tack rags and we're gonna go ahead and move on to finish paint uh, I put down two coats of primer it didn't go down as thick as I thought it would, but I mean, I followed the directions. Uh, when I do the finish paint, which I think is gonna be thicker, cause it's actually a thicker ratio, uh, I'm gonna do three coats of finish paint, let it cure for 24 hours. Then I'm gonna sand with 400 and do a fourth coat of top coat, let that cure for seven days. And then uh, I'm just gonna get some, you know, basic polish and polish the boat by hand. but. I'm hoping four coats gives me full coverage, hides, everything looks uniform and you don't see any of the, uh, the uh, fairing repairs, I guess is what I would call them. But she's, uh, she's super, super smooth. Feels incredible. Um, just gonna get it cleaned up and get ready to paint. Just wiped her down with denatured alcohol again. Probably gonna tack rag it once or twice again. Make sure this is as clean as it possibly can be. No more touching with my fingers because I don't want the oil to get on it. But we're gonna start tonight, coat one. Tomorrow morning, coat two. Tomorrow night, coat three. And then let that cure for a couple days before I sand. First coat, Alex Seal Ice Blue. You can still see a tiny bit of bleed through, but it's the first coat of four. Three coats, sand with 400, and then a final fourth coat. These damn bugs are running up on my stuff and it's really making me mad, but you gotta get all three coats on in 36 hours. So it is what it is, but that's uh, pretty sweet. I think it's gonna polish up real nice. I just, like just painted here and you can actually see the bubbles popping as it, you can kind of see right there in the glare. You can see the bubbles popping and it just flattens out and hardens out. And that's pretty darn good for, I mean, you can still see a little bit, but got some sanding to go. All right, we painted on Thursday night. Here it is Sunday. So I've got another four or five days before I can go ahead and put some polish and wax on it. But I mean, that Alex seal is beautiful. You can see the, ref I mean, 
that's pretty good. I'm super happy with how it turned out. I only did three coats in the strakes because those are sacrificial and hopefully I never have to, but they can break off if I run aground or hit an oyster bed. Um, and those can be repaired and put back on you pretty easily. But the rest of the hull, I mean, look at the shine on that paint. It just gets better every day. The I'm super happy with it. Four coats sanded with 400 between. Um, I think it's only gonna get better with polish and wax, but uh, excited to get this thing flipped over and continue the project. A little bit breezy this morning, but got the bunks all carpeted. I'm waiting on my brackets to come in from Amazon. I'm gonna paint the frame of this trailer with a Rust-Oleum kind of outdoor gray paint. And then eventually I'm gonna have to update these springs and axles and tires, but it's not really gonna, you know, trailer the boat a ton. Um, but this will be a sufficient trailer. It measures 16 feet long. I'm gonna let the bunks hang an extra foot off. And then, uh, you know, we'll adjust the, the tongue need to be, but trailer squared away. All we gotta do is flip it and we're gonna flip it February 11th, have another flip party.